the Supreme Master Qinghai International Association Appreciation News. The not-for-profit Chinese Hefeng Pusing Association at Qingyin Temple in Nantou County, Taiwan, also known as Formosa, is dedicated to promoting family ethics, spreading good deeds, and creating a heavenly, peaceful world. The association also helps minority groups, the sick, and disadvantaged communities, touched by their elegant spirit and love. Supreme Master Ching Hai provided 25,000 US dollars to the association. On July 22, 2018, our Nanto Association members had the honor of presenting the monetary gift to the group and read a loving note from Master. Chairperson of the Chinese Hefeng Pusing Association, revered Buddhist master Dao Ming, graciously accepted the funds. Our cordial respect and appreciation, revered Buddhist master Dao Ming, and the Chinese Hefeng Pusing Association for your caring and noble efforts helping others. May you be forever blessed in Buddha's heavenly grace. Supreme Master Ching Hai is deeply grateful to the beloved God for all the financial help, comfort, and support to the afflicted and needy and or any good cause over the years as a humble vessel for Hare's compassion and love toward Hare's precious children. Music students raise funds for flood relief. In response to a major flood in Kerala, India, music teacher Rama Chobe of Suzuki School of Violin in Pune, India, called on her 150 students to use music to raise funds for those affected by the flooding. To her surprise, the students responded with much enthusiasm. They went above and beyond her expectations to perform in their neighborhoods, at restaurants and other public gatherings to collect donations for the disaster victims. Ms. Chobe initially was hoping for a total collection of around 700 US dollars. Instead, students collected over 4,000 US dollars. Heaven bless you, Rama Chobe, for teaching children the music of love and our sincere thanks to all the young heroes for your tireless efforts and compassion in helping your fellow citizens during a very challenging time of their lives. India is indeed proud of you. Researchers make progress towards the Bionic Eye, a group of researchers from the University of Minnesota in the United States have succeeded for the first time in 3D printing of light sensors on the hemispherical surface. Their method involved printing a base of silver particles on the surface and then semiconducting polymers to create the optical sensors which converted the light into electricity, achieving 25% efficiency. The next stage in the research is to print a version with more light sensors with higher efficiency and also determine a method of printing on the software material that could be implanted in the eye. The research has been published in Germany-based peer-reviewed scientific journal Advanced Materials. Fantastic news, University of Minnesota researchers. May your new advancement help lead to the improvement or restoration of sight for many. China creates plastic that disintegrates at sea reported and developed by the Technical Institute of Physics and Chemistry at the Chinese Academy of Sciences. The newly invented composite material breaks down to small non-polluting molecules in seawater in a matter of days or weeks. Three Chinese enterprises are going into production with the new technology and could potentially take up half of the total global biodegradable plastic market share. What a remarkable innovation, Technical Institute of Physics and Chemistry of China. May more nature-preserving scientific developments soon emerge to better the lives of all beings on our shared lands and seas. Palestinian refugee acrobat and dancer wows audience in Germany. 30-year-old Tarek Alturk, a gymnast since the age of five, is realizing his childhood dream of becoming a performing acrobat and dancer in his newly adopted country of Germany. 
After being given refugee status in Germany in 2015, he was able in 2017 to establish the Dance to Fly Scrapers with dancers and acrobats from around the world who perform on top of high buildings. Mr. Alturk has trained many Syrian and Palestinian refugees in areas including contemporary dance, fitness, and gymnastics, with some of his students having appeared in drama performances for audiences in Germany. In describing his artistry, Tarek said, As we dance, we try to create beautiful visual images. Tarek Alturk and Flight Scrippers, we are so happy you are able to share and develop your spectacular artistry and following audiences. May you find fulfillment and success for decades to come in your creative pursuit. Heaven bless the great country of Germany for giving hope and opportunities to so many. Indian artist creates amazing designs from throwaway objects. Lauded as one of Kenya's most imaginative artists, Evans Maina Gure of Nairobi creates jewelry, sculptures, and artworks from unwanted materials that are donated to him by friends and customers, or which he collects after the items have been thrown away as rubbish. Some of Mr. Gure's pieces feature animals ranging from birds and insects to elephants. He noted that he wanted to show the endangerment of small creatures and added, I also want to raise awareness that we need a whole new perspective of our planet. We need to preserve and protect it. What phenomenal creations, Evans, Maina, Gure. We wish you all the best in your brilliant artistry, bringing elevation and eco-consciousness to beauty-loving individuals in Kenya and beyond. Five Saudi women obtain commercial flying licenses. The Saudi Arabian General Authority of Civil Aviation, GACA, has issued licenses to five female pilots, enabling them to be employed as captains on Saudi Arabian Airlines aircraft. Captain Yasmin Mohammad Al Maimani, who in 2014 became the second Saudi woman to receive a commercial pilot license from GACA, expressed her hopes of realizing her long-time dream and piloting a Saudi plane. The granting of the aviation licenses is part of Saudi Arabia's recent reforms, which include empowering women. Congratulations, women pilots. We hope to see you in the near future flying high as captain of a Saudi Arabian Airlines aircraft in Allah's blessings.